What's up you guys, Shardmas Prime here, doing another 112 scale action figure review on the Axie Toys Dinosaur Battlefield Tyrannosaurus Rex Deluxe Edition Red Version. Gotta give a big thanks to Axie Toys and Big Bad Toy Store for making this review possible and sending out this sample my way to review for you guys. If you want to see the latest from Axie Toys, be sure to check them out, link is in the description below. And yes, this is the red version, you can see the purple belly underneath, which I like, it's Megatron purple on a T-Rex, <laughs> I like that that and then you have some nice artwork right there at the bottom big old window right up in front and then on the side you can see a little bit of triceratops and then on this side you can see a little bit of a read-up right there if you want to read it go ahead and pause it right now and then you have the qr code and you have some nice looking product shots right over there and then on this side you can see that triceratops again it says dinosaur battlefield on the top and then dinosaur battlefield on the bottom and then now i'm kind of curious if i'm missing some read-up stuff without taking off the sleeve oh i am it says do not wipe the product Product with thinnel okay well I'm not gonna use chemicals on it all right anyway let's get to it and crack this thing open but first if you're trying to get your axi toys figures you can do so big 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 get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com click the link in the description below <laughs> And here's the Bloodblade figure out of the packaging. And oh, man, this guy looks awesome. Uh, there's so much stuff going on here. Uh, in some ways, I think maybe a little bit too much stuff, depending on which accessories you're looking at. Uh, but I mostly think this thing is very, very cool. And there are a lot of very, very cool accessories that come with them. So let's get a closer look at those. And then we'll take a closer look at the figure. So this figure comes with a ton of accessories and this little postcard or fairly large postcard anyway i did misplace one of the accessories this thing with the three teeth hanging down there uh, i haven't been on my a game lately been distracted by a lot of stuff but yeah you can see there's a lengthy read up over here if you want to read it go ahead and pause it right now and you can see we get two weapons and two sets of hands and a bag full of tiny little spikes that you need to apply on the figure I'm not going to go through every single one of those, but you can see that you have these two gold colored ones that you could put on the crown or the bottom half of the crown anyway. Uh, but first, looking at the weapons, you have this club right over here, which looks dope. The paint applications on everything throughout on this figure, uh, the weapons and all of it just look amazing. I love the detail right here. So you have that cast iron finish looks remarkably awesome uh, i really do like it a lot and then you have this axe right over here that comes in two pieces i guess you could hold it like as a blade right over here if you wanted to and you could take this out and then that pin you know you could use to connect to this other side right here of course you'd have him just hold this thing if you want but i love the blood staining on that look at that again that cast iron finishing is just amazing nice soft material over here so not too pointy i do appreciate that and then you also have the hands i mean the paint details throughout on this figure are just amazing i really love how it came out and you do want to heat up these weapon holding hands before you get them holding anything it's just easier to do that way but i love the details right here with the fingernails those claws look awesome uh, on the right side you have a finger pointing hand right over there love the fading and everything looks really good and then you have the helmet or the crown and uh one of the things that you get in the ziploc bag is an extra elastic piece right here for the bottom of the crown and you just want to yank this down right here and drape it over the head i added these two spikes right over here i do think this looks better as it is just like this love the bone paint detail and everything right there looks really good and then if you want to remove this little 3m piece right here so that it holds better you can do that i decided not to do that yet uh, but you also get the top half of the crown right over here so you take those off and you have this really cool looking triceratops skull you do have to put the horns on yourself i think i put them on there properly and this does look very cool like i think everything looks very cool on this thing i will say though for me i just feel like it's a little bit too much extra stuff going on you just use this peg to port it onto the front hole right over there and i just think this is too much of a headdress right here i mean it looks it's a t-rex 
head with the triceratops head on top of it. I'll show that off in just a little bit when we apply all these goodies to the figure itself. You get this necklace right over here, looking really awesome. I like the details on that. Can't really complain. Goes over the head very easily. And then you have these dangly pieces, which I'll apply to the figure later on. Again, I mentioned I was misplaced one. See the nice bone detail on this right over here. That looks like a raven's head or something. Very neat. And you get these real metal chains. And then you get these shoulder pads over here. And you do have to go ahead and apply those spikes. That image I showed you earlier is what I used as my guide. So if you just look at that. Oh, by the way, when you swap the hands off, these things, yeah, these sleeves right over here do pop off very easily. Again, I had to put the spikes on those. But yeah, uh, going back to the shoulder pads, I love how you can see the teeth and the eyes for the T-Rex and everything. You also have these holes on the back of it right over here that you could use to plug into the back of the figure and use these pins to pour them into the holes that are on the back. You also get the shoulder pad right here for the left side and then you have this huge magnificent royal cape. Look at that. Looks like it's made out of raccoon fur or something. I don't know. Some kind of big uh, prehistoric mammal, I guess, but I thought they were all tiny at the time, but this is not a real T-Rex. Anyway, it's made out of real soft goods over here. We'll leave little pieces of, you know, fabric around the review station. It's all tattered at the bottom over here, but yeah, uh, this does add a lot to it. You get a bendy wire coming across the top right over there, and it goes all the way down the side on each side, and it does look magnificent. I have to say, this does look very cool. <laughs> So after we look at the details of this figure without all the accessories applied to it, I gotta say, it does look cool just like this. I like having the display options over here. That head sculpt is amazing. I wouldn't say it's 100% accurate to compare it to a Beast of the Mesozoic head sculpt right over here for the T-Rex series. You know what I mean? This is the more accurate toy line. You know, this other one right here has a little bit of the fantasy involved with it, which is fine. I think it looks awesome. I like it. The green eyes look great. Again, I love the Megatron purple over here. The red looks great. I love the stripes. The paint details are phenomenal. The teeth have some nice yellow and brown tan colors added to them. Nice details right here on the inside of the mouth. Roof of the mouth even has some paint detail in there. So yeah, this thing is painted through and through and it just looks awesome. Uh, I really dig it. Just, yeah, I love how this came out. And then you can see a little bit of paint that came off right over here on this side. So the red is definitely over the purple. And then you can see the fade right over there. And we have these gauntlets, which, yeah, will slip off when you swap the hands out. And again, the hands look really good. I wanted to show you what it looks like without a gauntlet on there. And you can see those hinges do stick out quite a bit. I really like how this looks, though. So it's unfortunate, you know, having those sleeves on there is going to hide that. But I prefer having that hidden. Uh, it just looks better like this. And, yeah, the cast iron on these look phenomenal again i love how that came out and you have some nice detailed line work printed on there as well this is a very suede material you have actual buckles right over here holding those together see the chest muscles look very impressive and then you have this whole belt piece over here with all these little dangly pieces nice paint details right over there oh man this looks sick and again you have to add these little spikes on your own just follow that image that comes with the figure and you'll be set or you could follow this video right here either way and then you have these little dangly bone pieces right over there looking really good again the stripes and then the gradient of red to purple looks great on this figure again i love the shin pads right over here and you have to apply those little spikes just don't lose them you know but yeah that gold looks really good Love the cast iron finishing. The feet look awesome. Nice toe details right over here. Really nice articulation over there on the feet as well. And the tail looks really good too. I really like this. So yeah, paint details and sculpt throughout on this thing are amazing. There's a little bit of bendy wire action in there, but we'll go over the articulation in just a moment and then we'll apply the accessories. Actually, I'll add on the other accessories right now because I don't feel like it really hinders the articulation. So first you want to put the big old necklace on here drape that over there and then we can go ahead and put the shoulder pads on uh i'm going to go ahead and start with this side you can see those holes on the back and you have the pin right over here fairly easy to do same thing on this side pins already there ready to go then we can take the cape and go ahead and drape that over and that can hook on to each side right over here so you got these little golden hoops and these little hooks on each side of the cape and keep that on there and keep that on there like that 
That's looking pretty sweet. And then as far as getting the crown on there, you do want to yank down on this elastic band quite a bit. So go ahead and yank down on that and get that around the whole head behind the jaw and boom, it'll snap on right on top. And then we have the extra Triceratops crown piece that sits right up there and boom, there you go. So yeah, it's... To me, I think it's a little too extra with the Triceratops head on there. But anyway, we get the jaw articulation. Uh, you can move the neck and head joints side to side very well. You can turn the head right over here. It will look up quite a bit and down quite a bit. So that's very cool. Good articulation right there. You have the butterfly joints right over there. You get the shoulders moving out at 90 degrees. You can move them inward. You could rotate a full 360, get that out of the way, and go ahead and pull that off. That looks feels pretty good bicep swivel then you have the single jointed elbow and rotation at the elbow then all the hands turn side to side and you can hinge them up and down or horizontally depending on how you have that ball joint configured you have the diaphragm joint up here that turns side to side diaphragm pivot crunches forward a bit and back a bit then you have the waist cut Oop, losing stuff waist cut right there waist pivoting a little bit and it rocks back and forth some as you can see right over there a lot of stuff here hips move outward that far and we lost a shoulder piece uh he will kick forward that much and the directions do say to heat the figure up so you do want to be careful with it especially if it's a cold environment so you do want to heat it up before really moving it around you get an upper thigh cut right there pinless double jointed knees and then they do bend in all the way and then you have ankles that do move down they move up he has beautiful ankle pivot and then you have toe articulation each of these are on their own hinge which i think is awesome then the tail can also rotate well it doesn't rotate but it does shift up and down then it has a bit of bendy wire in it not a whole ton but some bend to it wow <laughs> look at that things have come apart uh, i forgot to show you adding on these pieces right here that you could attach to the hoops uh, uh, but anyway, adding those two spikes right over there to this first crown piece and measuring out this red T-Rex, you can see that it is standing quite tall at around 10 inches. And for a T-Rex comparison, we have the T-Rex Bloodblade figure. That's the character's name. I keep forgetting that, but Bloodblade is his name. And then we have the Hammond Collection T-Rex and we have the Beasts of the Mesozoic T-Rex. Then, of course, I had to compare this Bloodblade figure next to the Hasbro Kingdom Megatron and... And yeah, you can see the purples are pretty similar between the two. And then here's Bloodblade next to the Four Horsemen Studios Equidron, which I think I have the right name. <laughs> I'm screwing up names left and right, but this figure is amazing, and I can imagine some inspiration came from this. I mean, you have the same soft material right over here for the loincloth to get the bones hanging and everything. This fits right in with my Four Horsemen shelf. So convenient for me, there is a home waiting for this guy. And then here's Bloodblade next to some other third party or up and coming companies well loose collectors kind of been around a little while now there's the mr hyde from loose collector and then we have the fury planet uh not leatherhead and then here's bloodblade next to one of the beasts of the mesozoic triceratops figures and i did have fun posing this figure dining upon this figure over here that was kind of fun <laughs> then here's the t-rex bloodblade next to your average six inch scale figure we have the marvel legends big time inner letdown spider-man whoa giant man t-rex beast fully armored with armor i think i'm gonna just uh i'm just gonna yeah i'm just gonna leave so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did feel free to show some love to the channel by simply clicking that like button and if you are new here be sure to hit that subscribe button to help us reach those one million subscribers and a big thanks again to axie toys for sending this my way to review this is quite an impressive piece there's a lot of really cool stuff going on here I don't, I guess the guy's name is Alvin, but the person who designed this thing, they just went nuts with it. Like, someone in the design was just like, go crazy, and we're going to make a figure out of it, and that's what they've done here. They've just went nuts with it, and I think it's a lot of fun. I think it's very, very cool. There are some downsides I'm seeing to it. Nothing major. I didn't have any QC issues or anything break on me. I didn't have any serious frustrations that uh, took the fun out of it. The only thing is the sleeves for the arms, but you can still tighten those if you want to. So there's the option to do that. Oh yeah, and it's worth mentioning that we do get a bit of that material from the cape 
falling off onto the review station. That can be frustrating. There's things that were falling apart while I was doing the articulation segment. So when you articulate the figure, you do want to be careful. They warn you of that. So heat up the figure, be careful when you move it around. That's the only real uh, downside I'm seeing over here. Other than that, it's a really fun figure. I like posing it. I love taking photos of it. I think it looks incredible. It's not cheap by any means. Uh, you're looking closer to around the $80 mark, if I remember correctly. And at that price point, I'm going to give this T-Rex Bloodblade figure a sud rating of... I love it! And I'd like to know what you guys think. And if you've seen the other color variations, I want to know which one you prefer also. So leave a comment down below. If you want to see the latest in action figure news, you can find it all over at ToyNewsEye.com. And if you want to stay in touch with me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and on WhatNot. And I will catch you guys later. Peace! Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.